I didn't choose the next year. I am very proud to serve as the North American Chair of World Pride 2006. This celebration in Jerusalem on August 6th through 12th, next summer 2006, will create an international statement. We will stand together, Arabs and Jews, Christian, Muslims and Jews, Israelis and Palestinians, to declare that we believe in a world in which all deserve to be free. We're here um, for the Melbourne Queer Film Festival, and we're here with the, dif the director of... Jerusalem is proud to present. And Nitzan is the director. Um, how did you, what made you come up with the idea of the film? Well, it wasn't actually my idea. It was my, the idea of uh, my co-producer, Galia Bador, who saw an ad um, that announcing that Jerusalem um, is going to host the World Pride event and uh, she thought that I, you know, I could be a, a great um, um, director to do that, that film. And, and, you know, it was, it was, I remember actually that moment when she approached me and she, you know, she called me and said, Can, what do you think about it? And, I, you know, I thought that it's a great idea because you right away just from, you know, um, um, thinking about, you know, doing this, these events in Jerusalem that's going to create a lot of, you know, conflict unfortunately and I, and and when you work on a documentary you do look for you know a conflict cuz that's the way you can tell a story and but it was also like when she said that I went like okay what am I going to do because I didn't really it was half a year after I came out to my parents okay and I must admit I was worried because it means you know if I do this film then it's like okay this is sort of like uh, yeah. You know, the stamp, that's it, you know, it's, it's, but then I thought about it and I thought that this is, it's something that I should do because it's, it's about time that, you know, I should deal with it in, in also like a, a kind of a way, a, of a public way also. Mm -hmm. And, and also deal with, deal with it from a way that I thought that it could be, it could, and, and that would really happen. It turned into a personal sort of like okay. journey because uh, I had to face the same, you know, fears and obstacles that the organizers had to face uh, doing that, yeah. that. And I think that because of that, it was more, you know, you, you, you look for, I wouldn't do a project if I'm not passionate about it. Hmm. And, and it was right there. I just need to sort of like clear all the, the, the you know, those things that yeah. sort of like blocked me from, from uh, uh, doing a film like that. And how did you find making the film and the parallel process between coming out and... Oh, it was, it was out there. Yes. <laughs> because, I mean, in the film, you know, you have, um, you have, you know, I followed the organizers from the Jerusalem Open House, which is the LGBT uh, center mm -hmm. um, uh, in Jerusalem. Yeah. Uh, and um, I followed also the, the, the other side, sort of like, you know, the, the ones that, the, from the opposition, uh, uh, characters that that fought in a way yeah. to try and stop doing that parade. So um, each time when I had to sort of like stand in front of them, it was like, you know, hearing the, those things that, that that sort of like the those those voices, those voices that I was trying to run away or yeah. from, you know, it's like all these horrible uh, opinions and sort yeah. of like very uh, scary in a way. So each time when I was, I had to do, follow them, it, it just reminded me all the time that this is, this is what, unfortunately, people still think like that. And they should not come to Jerusalem. They should not come to the Holy Land. No, no, the Hargis at Adunay. We know from the Holy Bible that God created Adam and Eve, but He didn't create Adam and Steve. It was, it, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. I must admit, it wasn't easy, and especially when it got closer, and closer to the event itself. Yes. So, because, because literally at the end, the streets of Jerusalem were burnt by by the extremist. So it was. It wasn't easy. And how did you cope with all the violence? Because, you know, I watched the film yesterday and, and I noticed that there was 
quite a lot of intense violence and that you caught, you actually got caught trying to drive through, I think it was Mayor Sharim and yeah. you know the car was speeding away because they actually surrounded you. How do you deal with all that anger and hatred? Because it's not just verbal anger and hatred, it's physical threat to, you know, your life. Yeah. How do you deal with it? You just... You know how it is, it's just what you have to do is not, you can't, pl you can't react to it. Mm -hmm. You can't play the same game. Yeah. Because I, I don't believe in violence. I don't think the human, hum, humans yeah. are violent. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's a reaction of something else. And I think that uh, the only way is to just, you know, make sure that you keep doing what you do and make sure that, you know, what you do is real and the faith is there and, and the reasons are right. Yeah. And, and if you do that, then the violent is not that scary. Okay. I mean, it's scary when you see it in a, in a way that you can't, there's nothing that you can do against it. Uh, for example, the, you know, you yeah. mentioned that scene. I mean, we were literally, um, if we wouldn't have this really brave taxi driver yeah. who knew what to do, and yeah. he, he was originally from Jerusalem, and he knew that if he's not going to push that, you know, gas, it's, yeah. we're going to, something will happen and he was very brave so he did it for us yeah. i didn't know it I, I would probably just go like oh, you know like uh uh um Cause it try to hide my head in the in the sand you know in the sand but yeah. um but again like when it happened i i knew i felt that something can happen like we went there really late at night yeah. in order to uh, uh not to create all this you know uh attention okay, not yeah. to create that that kind of violence because yeah. we just wanted to see uh, uh, one of the posters that was written uh, about one of the characters and do you want to say what the poster was um, yeah well usually what they unfortunately they use those posters to yeah. sort of like send their horrible messages yeah. and sometimes what they do they pick up one of one of like a, a person, someone who is a you know a, an activist yeah. from the gay community, and you know uh, write their phone numbers, uh, write his phone number, address, and ask for 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 the community to uh, yeah. call and threaten him, threaten him, and 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 uh, sort of like disturb his life. Yeah. So we wanted to see that. We wanted to see what what's, what are the ways that they're you know how they. Yeah. create all this resistance and, and to show that, to, to, to show a proof of it. Yeah. Um, so we went at night, it was, it, was, it was late at night, but then after five minutes I, I realized that ooh, ooh, something is going on here because yeah. they recognized him really quick yeah. and I right away I knew, you know, you know, as a filmmaker maybe you would say, oh this is a great, that's a great opportunity because I'm going to have a great scene and yeah. This is great. Let's stay there. Let's create the the the, the fire. And I'm not into that. Yeah. I mean, I I want to. You know, I prefer to stay in life. You know, and as li the living is much more yeah. important than having a great scene in in a, in a film. the Melbourne Queer Film Festival for 2009. I'm here with Donna and Sarah for the movie Your Turn. How are you girl? Well, very well. Great. Great. Um, how, how's your film? When does it start screening? It uh, screens first uh, Friday night at Boob Tube uh, at 8pm <laughs> and uh, then Saturday the 28th of March at 11am. Now what's the concept of the film? What's the film about? Um, it's, it's directed towards um, an an older women's age group and it's um it's pretty much and it's about the internet and one of the women becomes really bored they're playing checkers over the internet and it's about her breaking out of that world so it's um so it's delving into the whole internet dating type of scene as well uh kind of they basically she um 
uh, gets very bored and decides to dress up as a man oh, wow. and uh, just to spice things up. <laughs> as you do. As you do. Well, that sounds very interesting. Um, so are you expecting a big crowd? Is it just screening the once or have you got multiple screenings? Well, we've got the two screenings, so Friday night and then followed by the Saturday. It um, officially premiered at the 2008 Palm Springs Festival. Awesome. So uh, that was the Lesbians Living Large program. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're, we're uh, back doing uh, Boob Tube awesome. uh, at Melbourne Queer, so please come down. Awesome. Yes, please go and see the film. Thank you so much and enjoy this movie tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Mark from uh, Lost Everything. Mark is a producer and one of the actors in the film. How are you, Mark? I'm doing great. Thrilled to be in Melbourne. <laughs> so whereabouts from the States are you from? Uh, originally I'm from Arkansas. Our company is based out of Los Angeles and it was filmed in Miami. So it's Los Angeles and Miami, I guess. <laughs> and it's the world premiere in Australia, is that correct? Uh, yeah, this is the Australian premiere. It's the first international premiere of Lost Everything. It's tomorrow night at 10.30 and, and uh, just very excited. I'm the only one representing tonight. Fantastic. Well, it's good to have you here. Now, I believe the uh, film has won a couple of awards. Do you want to elaborate yeah. a little bit more on that? Uh, we, we've been in the Chicago Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. We won the Fort Lauderdale Film Festival. Uh, audience award. We won the indie um, indie gathering award for best uh, suspense thriller, and also uh, indie fest 2008. We won best picture. So tell us a little bit about your character and uh, about the film. I play uh, I play a closeted movie star that comes to um, Miami on a visit and starts a uh, starts a steamy you know side love affair with a bartender and. His agent is hell-bent on keeping it secret because there's reporters trying to out him to the press and all yeah. that stuff. So. Hi, I'm here with Gary from the movie called Shank. How are you, Gary? I'm doing well. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, tell us a bit about the film and how you got involved with it. Uh, the film is about uh, a young gay guy who's kind of uh, not directed sexuality in a very positive direction. I don't play this kid, but... Um, and he's in a group of kind of scally kids, a kind of gang, and he doesn't really, he's got some feelings for his friend that he can't really display towards him. Essentially he falls in love with another kid who the gang want to beat up, yep. and in doing that turns himself against the gang, and then a kind of nasty kind of story develops where he's kind of rejected from the gang, and then I can't really describe too much of it, because it's, I don't know <laughs> if it's speaking. Yeah, um, essentially kind of quite a violent ton of events comes where he kind of realizes he's been mis- uh, he's had a very kind of negative idea of sexuality before, having kind of random sex acts and being quite self-abusive about the whole thing, and kind of falls in love with this other boy, and kind of it becomes a bit more positive. But he still has this this gang of kids who are still against him, and it kind of culminates in quite a kind of tragic, um, gritty ending. And I play uh, a character called Scott, who's the teacher of the boy who he falls in love with, okay. and has also had uh, an experience with this young kid uh, in the woods. Which, Sounds uh, interesting. Yeah, which uh, doesn't come out too well for me. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I think I haven't actually seen it. Um, it's on a Friday night. I'm so it premieres this Friday night? Yes, it's the world premiere actually on Friday night. And I, so, uh, and I happen to be living in Sydney at the moment, so I've come to see it. Um, I've no idea what it'll be like, but I'm very excited. I've heard great reports from back home about it. Um, Where was it filmed? It was filmed in Bristol, which is a town southwest United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. All British actors, everyone's pretty much younger than me, kind of 18, 19 year olds doing it. Their first kind of professional gig. I hope it does quite well for them because it'd be a great opportunity. It's doing quite well in the festival. It's been picked up by Miami, Philadelphia, essentially Los Angeles, Tel Aviv, Berlin. So it's going to do a bit. Sounds good. Circuit, yeah, so. yeah. Well, I wish you all the best of luck with the film and hopefully you'll enjoy this film too. Yeah, thank you very much. Awesome, thank you. Yes, thank you. It's absolutely brilliant and I recommend that you all go along to see it. It's very not what I expected that it would be. Um, it was very enjoyable, very different. I think putting the William Shakespeare uh, spin on uh, gay characters was absolutely brilliant. So come with me as I go chat to some other people and ask their opinion about the film. Okay, I'm here with Susie and Claire. Uh, both ladies have seen the film tonight. How are you both? Great, thanks John. Fantastic. Awesome. And what did you think of the film? Yeah, we loved it. Thanks. Yeah, it was really good. Any uh, parts that you found interesting or that you loved? Um, I, 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 
love the musical parts to it. I thought it was, and it was a great opening night film. Definitely. So, are you guys seeing anything else for, during the festival? Yeah, definitely. Uh, closing night film, even though it's sold out. I'm sure I'll get a ticket. And um, there's quite a lot on. Lots of documentaries. I always like the documentaries. Awesome. And how do you think tonight's actually going with everybody here? Oh, I think it's going off. I think there's, there's so many people and they're hanging around for the party, so it's fantastic. So what did you both think of the film? Um, I loved it. It was nice to see um, Shakespeare adapted in contemporary context in film and made it accessible to someone like us. Yep. And yourself? I, I was unsure a couple of minutes into it, but by like the first song, amazing. It was really good. Uh, so out of five, what would you give the film? I would give it a four. It was a great balance of gayness and lesbianness. It was excellent. <laughs> Film, um, how was the experience working with Palestinians in that Jerusalem pub? Because that looked... Oh, that was, first of all, it was a very, very important uh, part for me. Mm -hmm. yep. Because I think that people don't understand that Jerusalem is, is so mixed, like you have everything, yeah. you know? And people think that, no, in Jerusalem there are no Palestinians. And yeah. people get a bit confused about that. And, and there's, it's a big community. Uh, you know, it's a whole different story. Uh, if, if you, you can't even compare because they still, their struggle is much, much, much more difficult than the gay community, the Jewish, Israeli, Arab, Israeli community okay. in, in Jerusalem. They, unfortunately, some of them live in Ramallah. Yeah. And, and um, in, what I mean is not unfortunately they live in Ramallah, but unfortunately yeah. in Ramallah, yeah. there are no, there is no gay life, you yeah. know, it's, it's all underground. And um, you can get, you know, if they find out about you, can you can literally can get killed for for it, yeah. you know, for being being uh, gay. So this their struggle is much, much, much more more harder than um, Israelis, Arab Israelis. And um, for a long time, I actually yeah. tried to approach uh, uh, Palestinians to to yeah. be part of the film, and and I knew that it's going to be a hard hard thing to do because. First of all, they're not out, and yeah. they wouldn't be able to, you know, come, you know, just come in front of the camera and expose themselves. I'm going to to illegal, פלסטינים מגיעים לכאן בעיקרון רשמית, יש ערב אחד בשבוע שהוא ערב פלסטיני. זה פעם בשבוע. אבל מעבר לזה, הקהל, כל השבוע יש קהל פלסטיני בשושן. funny to hear it from, yeah. for, you know, from, from an Israeli point of view. They would say, you know, we, we wish to be, in a way they said that we wish to be Israelis. We yeah. prefer, we have a really good connection with the Israelis, yeah. which, is, which was a surprise for a lot of people. I actually got some, you know, okay. criticism from the Palest some Palestinians. How could you say that? How could you um, 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 put these lines in the film? And I said, like, what do you mean? I didn't say it. Yeah. It's not me. It, you know, he was the one who said it, yeah. and that's what he told me. You know, that's yeah. what. Um, so, yeah, it was it for, for him. You know, going crossing from from Ramallah to to Jerusalem, yeah. and and coming to sh the Shushan Bar, which is the only gay bar that used to be in Jerusalem because they closed it, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna. Yeah. yeah, and for him, it was it was you know a place of uh, joy, mm -hmm. freedom. Uh, being who he is, yeah. he doesn't need to question anything. He would just like you. You could have seen it also in his face. Yeah. The 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 happiness that he found, and and it's interesting because Shushan was also uh, 
a mixture of everything. You can yes. see religious people, lesbians, uh, gays, drug kings, uh, ev like everything, and everybody got along. Yes. You know, and it's 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 just it's sort of like for me it was uh, uh, sort of like a proof for 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 uh, the love that we're talking about that it's yes. it's 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 possible, it's visible, it's something that can happen. And, and unfortunately, people put the emphasis on hate so much, and uh, so. How did you find the conflict? You know, doing the film in the middle of conflict, because as you were making the film, and as World Pride was coming closer, war broke out, and this happened, yeah. and there were. So, how did you feel in the midst of everything? It, it was just frustrating because it, this is an, a, a, a typical example for what's going on in Israel. You know, yeah. you try to do this beautiful event, yeah. uh, an in, international event, and every time when you try to do those things, something yeah. will happen. Yeah. It's always the political situation that w would reflect the, the, the life that you are trying to sort of like create. Yeah. We, we will never be able to live our life normally yeah. if that won't be solved. Yeah. The stuff that is around us. And I think that a lot of Israelis know that. Yeah. They know that. And I think that that's why people, there's a, a big, a big pop, uh, uh, part of the population, population really wants peace. Yeah. And that's not something that some people don't know, abroad, you know outside of Israel, yeah. they, they're not really, they don't uh, hear that a lot. But a lot of people realize that it's not a life, you know? You may, people would think that you're strong, you know, Israel is strong compared to the Palestinians, but we're, it's unfortunately, it's a weakness, yeah. you know? It's it always gonna be, it's gonna be in the little things that you're gonna do, not just those events, and not just the world pride. Yeah. It's like when you go, you have a coffee, and it's great, and it's sunny yeah. outside, it's beautiful, you have your friends, your family, but underneath, yeah. It's, it's boiling, you, do you know what I mean? If you look a little bit like the Shushan, then our life was much better. We are sitting here in every evening, a man is a homo, a man is a homo with a cap, a man is a man with a man with a lesbian, a man is a man with a straight man, a man is a man with a man with a man from the Arab country, a man is a man with 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 a man. And everyone is a man with a man with a man, and everyone is a man with a man with a man. And that's the vision of me in Jerusalem. And what for you was the most important part of making the film or what came out? I, I think that what, what was very important for me in this film was the fact that, you know, living in Tel Aviv, it's almost like it's, it's the same, everybody's talking about this bubble thing, the bubble. You know, I sometimes like you would sit with friends and you would talk about your own sort of like when I spoke about my personal um, uh, struggle with the coming out, my yeah. coming up. And so people would go like, oh yeah, well, it's, it's, it's sort of like, what, why are you talking about it? It's like, there's no problems anymore. It's all, everybody's accepting. Yeah. It's, it's, everything is open, you know? I mean, in Israel, you can adopt children. So it's yeah. as if, but, but still, you know, we have to remember that outside of the big cities, there's still a lot of work to do and people still struggle. And, and you know, we shouldn't close our eyes because sometimes it happens. And so that's, for me, that's that's the message. That's the okay. that's what's so important, I think, to show. Um, and also, also, you know, in the film, there are, you know, the organizers from the open house. Uh, mm. They're just these brave, unbelievable, amazing people who, you know, would work uh, and 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 devote their life for for a wonderful cause. And I mm. think that that's. I'm happy that uh, it's it's yeah. it's it got the exposure through the film. And who sponsored your trip to Australia? Uh, the Israeli embassy actually uh, uh, brought me over here, yep. which was um, a great thing. And it shows that, you know, Israel, you know, there's a lot of contradiction, but they support uh, even films like that, that sometimes criti criticize a little bit of what's going on in Israel. So it's very important. Also, I'm a guest of uh, the film festival, oh, the excellent. Melbourne a Queer Film Festival, which is a a great, great thing. They treat me really, really nice. So oh, that, I'm that, happy. That's good. And it's, we, sh we should really thank the Israeli embassy for yeah. bringing you over because it yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah, it and is. And 
Queer Film Festival. Yeah. But I think it was an excellent film. I think it Thank brought you. to the forefront the issue of identity, but the issue of the power of people who love each other to overcome adversity and to overcome violence and showed that people can actually make a difference if you follow your heart and you follow what's really honest you know, in relation to love. And I, thank you for making the film, it was thank great. Thank you, thanks, thanks. Done.